Hello, I am the Delta, and this is my view of the Tungsten Pearl Sonic Screwdriver, and my custom 7th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. I'll start off with my 7th Doctor Sonic, as that will take the least time. Basically, it is just a 4th Doctor Sonic with an 8th Doctor head. I also painted a gold ring around here on the section to symbolise a bridge between the, the traditional classic Sonics and the 1996 movie Sonic. I cut off the, for, the, he, the original bullet emitter section bullet ring emitter section and replaced it with the A1 from an A Doctor Sonic that I had customised into a Romana Sonic screwdriver, which you will be seeing in a later review. I remember actually actually putting this mission so I could actually paint this area silver, and that's basically what I did to it. It still has the sound chip of the fourth Doctor Sonic, which is. Now, I originally created this to be an 8th Doctor Sonic with a very retraction collar. And basically, with the end result, I didn't think it would serve well for the 8th Doctor. So I thought, why not let it be the 7th um, Doctor Sonic? Since, for one, he could have actually made one and just didn't use it, or didn't use it in the um, episodes. But I'm actually rather proud of Sonic because. But no, I this is I, I actually use this quite a bit. I use it more than the other Sonics I have anyway. Tell me what you think of this Sonic, and now I will move on to the Transtemporal Sonic. Here's the Transtemporal Sonic screwdriver. It's still in its packaging. I've already opened it, and I'm actually rather pleased with it. And um, the packaging is very nice. It, it's got the blue vortex from the Eleventh Doctors, as well as the Doctor Who logo from the Eleventh Doctor. Has Transtemporal Sonic Screwdriver on there. Character Options logo, compatible with the personalised your own Sonic Screwdriver set. I'm not going to get that because, frankly, I have wasted enough money. Um, with the blurb, I'll see if I can. Well, oh, either way, I'll read out to you. With the TARDIS trapped in, uh, with the TARDIS trapped on a uh, in a transtemporal schism, the Doctor finds himself at the centre of four time zones. As with each previous time, the TARDIS generates a new Sonic Screwdriver for the Doctor. As with each previous time, the TARDIS generates a new Sonic Screwdriver for the Doctor. But this time, it is created with. Uh, it is in the style of each time zone, Elizabethan, Victorian, present day, and future London. With additional new features, including a wood setting, finally, the Doctor must try and free the TARDIS before time runs out. It has eight new sound effects, and once again it is compatible with the personalised your own sort of screwdriver set. Another character options logo, and a picture of it when it's activated. Now, that's enough for the packaging, let's have a look at the toy itself. Here are the components of the Trans Temporal Sonic Screwdriver. The end cap, which, is, which I believe is from the, the um, it's either Victorian or Elizabethan. No, Victorian. This is definitely Victorian. Um, and... It basically slides into place here, which is apart from that, I think, which I think is from the future London. So no, it doesn't pop in like that. It pops in like this, and it goes into like this. Now the core, <coughs> which is this bit, has a bright white light, and as it is said, 
on the packaging, it can be compatible with the Transtemporal Sonic set. No, not Transtemporal, the personalised your own Sonic set. Now, to, for, to construct this, as you've seen, I've, you twist the end bit onto here. You slide the core in. So it's all, all nice like that. And with the the um with this bit, which is the Elizabethan part, that's I think I said that was Elizabethan, it's not it's Victorian. <coughs> it's not it's Victorian future and I believe this is the Elizabethan part, and you slide it in like this, so you, you can actually see that it is at this sort of position and you twist it so the this is now the um, button is now lined up with the small line here, and as far as far looks, kind of alright. Now this bit I believe is from the present day, as it looks very tarnished and frankly, the heat, and this bit is very bright. So fr and frankly, the future does tend to look brighter than the actual present day. And you click it onto here, and that's the Sonic, and frankly, it looks very. I think it looks very nice. My only complaint is the fact that um, it looks a bit bland, really. The the future bit, more so than the rest, as the if as it's meant to represent the future, it could actually have a bit more markings on it. But other than that, that was my only proper major complaint with this screwdriver. It looks right. Now it has, as I said, it has eight sound effects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine. So the packaging lied. Oh, and I said new, so that means yeah, it didn't lie. So those are the sounds of the Sonic, and frankly, this is a, I actually really enjoy the Sonic. From the top, it has a blue. 11th Doctor bulb thing. I'm not sure, I have no idea what to call it. Followed by a, what looks like to be a neural relay down here, when activated. And these pipe things, which actually are very reminiscent of the Dark, 8th Doctor Dark Eye Sonic Screwdriver, which I am actually planning on making. The pattern here is very nice. And I basically love it, and I and this I believe is to is the setting dial. It doesn't move unfortunately, but the but the rest of the features make up for that. And um, the the small drums here actually light up when the button button is pressed. And going down to this section, very as I said very earlier, very bland. Cup silver rings here, white bit here, and a sticker there that resembles space. Now going down to the Last, the bottom, the cap, the end cap, you can actually see that the, um, Sonic ha no, not the Sonic, but it actually does derive from Victorian times, because this, because one thing about Victorian times, it was very steampunkish y and this Sonic, Sonic actually screams steampunk when you actually look at it, and frankly, this is, this, this would actually make a very good cosplayer a item for, say, a future Doctor, or a Time Lord that isn't the Doctor. And, despite the fact that I haven't gone yet, I plan on going to at least one Comic-Con with this screwdriver as the Sonic I'll be using. Either way, tell me what you think of that Sonic. And... And I will see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, do whatever you like.